Hi guys, so today I'm out in the countryside and it's near Fuente Alamo. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to ramble off to you what is our nearest location to here. So we are five kilometres for, from Fuente Alamo. We're 15 kilometres from the airport and we're 34 kilometres from Catrahena and 35 from Mercia. So this is the property I'm looking at and it's quite a substantial property so I'm going to show you snippets of this property because it's so large I couldn't get it all on one video if I try to get it all on one video it's just going to be too long you know so and it's a really fantastic opportunity for anybody who wants a project who wants a business whatever you see for yourself now so I'm just turning around, you can see the vast gardens here. Really nice, you've got a sun area there you can sit, and that's all netted in as well. Really nice area, you can sit there and read a book. So you've got an area here that's sheltered for the car, and also doubles up as a workroom for yourself so this is one of the garden areas here you got a nice seating area with a large umbrella there so guys this is the kitchen area the outside kitchen where you can sit and have outside dining it is all netted all around, so you can sit here peacefully and the flies won't bother you or mosquitoes any time of the year. You've got a lovely barbecue there and plenty of worktop space. All right, so this is a nice feature of this property. Now, I'm just showing you um, the main features of this property, really, because it's quite a vast property. And you have a lovely big area here where you could put table and chairs for people. And just in here you've got accommodation or whatever you want to do with this, leave it up to your imagination. So I think this was going to be used for a kitchen area. It's all wired already for that. So this could be a really large kitchen. And the ceilings are quite high okay take it to the next room that those stairs lead to nowhere so you have another room in here and then there's a door off there so you have got a toilet and sink in here This is quite a lot of accommodation to this place. So you have, you could use this for any type of business that you want. If you wanted to hold a yoga place or a seminar or treatment rooms, this would be ideal, you know. So they're quite large rooms. So you could make this a yoga retreat or something like that have uh, beauty therapy rooms there's so much you could do here you could do b and b um you name it you could do it just use your imagination you've got so much accommodation here so i'm going to show you some of the accommodation around the corner and the other accommodation block is that block there so let's go and have a look i just noticed the tile says like a little chessboard so I've just come down here and they've opened number seven for me. So we'll have a look down here. So this is an example of one of the rooms that are here. So these are really large bedrooms with the vaulted ceiling. So you've got two bedrooms, single beds in here. Just in here, you've got Sinking pedestal, your WC, 
your BD and you have a shower here as well. Okay. You've got plenty of accommodation, so you could use it for anything, really. I'm just going to look in here. So there's a safe in here, and this is like a large wardrobe. And all the rooms, I've been told, are the same. And then you've got an area with the TV, you could have your computer, whatever you want. You've got a ceiling light and fan above as well. So that's one part. I will show you the main house. You have a pool directly over there. So this is the main house and I'm going to bring you inside. And this house is quite a large property as well. You have orange and lemon trees there. You have vodka or your tonic for your ice and a slice. And it's really quite a vast area. So as you can see guys this is the porch area and it's all nested off which is really great so you can sit out on your porch and any flies summer flies coming around won't bother you so i'm going to take you into the property but we're going into the kitchen area first and this is a really large kitchen as you can see plenty of top and base units you've got a double sink there with your water filter tap you've got your dishwasher a nice big kitchen here with an island. Really quite a large kitchen. Extractor hood, gas, top and electric oven. Okay. So you have your area to sit and dine here. I'm just going to take go out here first. So there is a little outside space. I keep the dogs out here. But this would make a nice little courtyard anyway, just off the kitchen, so you could have your breakfast. You could do whatever you wanted, really, on this property. So I'm going to go through this archway, and this leads into the main house. And you have this huge area here. So if you wanted, this is potentially make a really good and large bed and breakfast, or whatever you wanted. You have a bathroom here with the shower. Really quite large. And you've got a washing machine here and all the rest. But you could do it to suit yourself, you know. Now just over here, the opposite side, you have a bedroom. This is large enough to be a double bedroom, as you can see. And you've got a wall heater on the wall over there. And you've got a ceiling light and fan just above. Okay. You're in this living area and you have got a log burner there, which keeps it nice and cosy in the winter. And just here you have another courtyard. So it's totally separate again, as you can see. And you've got your gas boiler over there. And you've got this, this is a, just a little door where um, basically you're able to clean that chimney above. Okay, that's access to the chimney. So just in here, it's like a tower disguise. So you've got kind of an office area going on here. And just in here you've got another shower room, large wardrobes. You've got WCBD, sink and pedestal, and your shower just behind there. They all have a fully equipped shower room, basically, with your BD, your sink and pedestal, and your WC. So just in here, you have another large double bedroom with a wall heater on. And that leads out into the pool area just there. You've got storage just in there, like a wardrobe type. Before I go down over there, you've got aircon up there as well. forgot to mention that. I just want to go back because I don't want to miss a room out. Because this is like a TARDIS. And you get quite lost in it because it's such a big place. So this is bringing me back to the front of the house. You have another log burner over there, okay? And then just down there, we've got aircon again and 
just in here is another bedroom. It's got um, double doors out there. And just there, you have another bathroom. This one has a bath in it. Let's put the light on. You have the extractor, air extractor. And you have your WC. And your shower in here. Okay. So, where we go next? So let's go back to where we were a moment ago. So you have got two courtyards there, and just here, go back into this room, and I show you where this leads out to. And there's another courtyard out here. This leads to the pool area, guys. There is a gateway. So you could have loungers, you could do this up whatever way you want it. Quite a big area. And you've got your pool area there. Okay. Pool is no good, you'd have to put a new pool in. That would be about 15,000 euros, I should imagine, to put that in. So I'm going to take you down this other area now. So this is what I'm looking at, guys. So just here, you've got a water point. You've got quite a few of them all over. Oh, it's locked, but just in there, there is um, potential for four more bedrooms. They were being built, but the building has stopped. But um, this place is so big. So you've got four bedrooms, potentially half built, not even half, quarter built there. So if you were a builder or anything like that, you could have that done. You've got that other area over there, which is quite huge. You have a big kitchen, you have a social room, and you got loads of rooms that could be used as treatment rooms or if you're doing a yoga retreat out here in the country in Spain. There's quite a bit. You'd have to get the pool done. You'd need to throw a little bit of money at it, but it would make really substantial business after it was done. It used to be a and b The license has now um, finished. So you'd need to reapply for that again. But other than that, it would make quite a substantial um, business really, you know. It's quite big as it is. It's like a tortoise in here. So, so this is the area for the greenhouses. And it's got potential to grow your veg in that. And just over here, I'm just showing you the back of... That's the property that you could build up and make another four bedrooms of. So that land is with this property as well. Just go in here very quickly. So you've got some sort of drainage there. And as you can see, it's quite... This business could be a garden centre, you know. You could do anything like that. Put plants. That's better. Need a bit of watering. So I'm going to leave this area now. If you want to get in touch, contact Dawn Info at to let to sell to buy dot com. My name's Marie, and just to let you know as well, that if you talk to me through my YouTube, YouTube only seem to allow two or three messages and they'll swallow it up. When I publish it to try to reply to you, it'll just go missing. So if I give you the email, first off, info at toletosaltobuy.com, you can get in touch with me or any of the colleagues or Dawn herself, who's the proprietor of the business, okay? So, until next time, have an amazing day. And I hope to bring you more amazing properties soon. Just like this one.